Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Beauty by Jador. So today's look is my third holiday glam look. I decided to create this pretty Christmas color eye look. So guys, without further ado, let's just jump right into the tutorial. Do me a favor first, guys. Like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification button and show me some Christmas love. So guys, see you on my next tutorial. So guys, I'm gonna start off by putting some lip gloss on my lips. This lip gloss I purchased from the body shop and it is the cinnamon lip gloss. Next, I'm gonna prime my eyelids with this Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in the shade Light. This goes great with the P. Louise base. Um, I use both of these in all of my tutorials. The P. Louise base that I'll be going in with is the P. Louise Rumor Base number four. Time to set those lids. I'm gonna go on using my ELF HD setting powder in the shade Translucent. The eyeshadow that I'll be going in today, I ordered from Amazon, and it is the Pie Fruit Filling. And the first shade from that palette I'll be going into is called Blackberry. I'll just be adding this to the outer portion of my eye and carrying it halfway over. The next shade that I'll be going into from that palette is called Avocado and I'll just be lining that right next to the shade Black um, Berry. Oh yeah guys, I forgot to mention that I did my eyebrows off camera using the ColourPop Precisely Brow Pencil in Deep Brown and to clean them up I used my Becca Ever Matte Concealer in the shade Nutmeg. The next palette that I'll be working from is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Orange and Gorgeous Eyeshadow Palette. And the shade I'll be going into is called Top Secret. And I'll just be blending those other two shades that I laid down out to make it more seamless. The next shade that I'll be going into from that Jaclyn Hill palette is called Secure. And I'll just be using this to blend out that shade top secret right on top of. I'm just gonna go back into all of those shades that I laid just to make sure that I have the best payoff on the eyeshadows. just going to use a little of this Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the number 10. I'm going to use this to do a soft cut crease. crease is actually turning out to be a full-on half cut crease guys sorry about that just going back into that shade called blackberry and I'm just blending that into that concealer to give it a more seamless appearance back into that shade called avocado I'm just placing this 
right on the lid right next to the shade blackberry The next shade that I'm gonna go into is called Cranberry. And I'm gonna just place this right next to Avocado. And then I'm gonna just blend those shades together for a more seamless appearance. dip into my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade American Doll. I'm just going to place this right on top of that shade Cranberry because I want the shade to stand out a little more as in the red tone. for me to create that wing liner I'm gonna go on with this NYX vinyl liquid liner in the shade black I'm not gonna drag the line over too much because I'm just gonna blend it in with that black um, berry shade moisturizer I'm gonna go in with my palms face moisturizer guys this um, moisturizer is great for the winter I alternate between the ponds and the milk vegan moisturizer to moisturize my face now I'm just going to use this tart tape shape to um, conceal under my eyes I will have the shade listed below guys if I really wanted to I could stop right here and just add my contour but I'm not I'm gonna go in using the Maybelline fit me foundation in the shade coconut and I'm just gonna add this over my face using that KVD foundation brush Guys, this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Um, I would prefer to use this over some of the higher end foundation. It just blends out like a gem. Contour, I'm gonna go on using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Well Concealer in the shade Coffee. might look a tad bit too deep but once I start blending everything out and blending everything together it will turn out to be magnificent so now I'm just going back into that Juvia's I am magic concealer in the number 10 and I'm just highlighting the areas under my eyes, down my nose, and 
above my lip. Guys, as I mentioned before, I really like the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealers. They blend out wonderfully. I'm just using my little handy dandy fan. How that blends out it just real it just blends out really really well that's exactly why I love this concealer this concealer I'm gonna go in using the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder in the shade deep peach this is also a really good setting powder it just has a bit of a color but it is one of my top five setting powders Time to set that contour. I'm gonna go in using the Morphe Glamour Bronzer in the shade Trailblazer. <music> to set this face in place, I'm gonna go in using the Urban Decay, the Sleek setting spray now I'm just gonna go in using my foundation brush to blend away some of those harsh lines that separation between the contour and the concealer and you can see right before your eyes everything blends out to perfection blush I'm gonna go in using my black radiance color baked blush in the shade warm berry time for highlighter I'm going in using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy highlighter back into that Morphe X Jacqueline Hill Armed and Dangerous palette. I'm going to go into the shade called Smooth Criminal and I'm just going to add this on my um, lash line. Guys, some of my footage um, got deleted so I went in before with Top Secret on that lash line right before Smooth Criminal. Sorry guys. For inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go into that shade called VIP. Time for my Fossey guys. These lashes were provided by Lustful Lash Bar, and these are in the style flip around.
to that Amrezy highlighter. I'm gonna add it to the tip of my nose and my Cupid's bow. Time for lips. I'm gonna just outline my lips using my Colored Rain Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Vixen Diaries. And for the inner portion of my lips, I'm gonna go on using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade American Doll. Honey, this ombre lip duo and this eye makeup is all types of bad AF. I mean, the ombre lips is everything. And I'm just using that concealer brush just to clean up around the lips. But honey. And for eyeliner, I'm going to go on using the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil in the shade Sand. Now it's time for mascara. I'm going in using the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I'm just going to apply this to my lashes. Honey, and there you have it, the finished look. This look is a whole vibe, and it is so holiday and festive. Hope you guys enjoy.